Earlier this week, Insta360 came out with a firmware upgrade that finally lets you use this camera as a webcam. Yay! Ever since the coronavirus and I've been working from home, I've been looking at tons of webcams to find something I can use that I actually like. And I've had this Insta360 for a while. I've just been waiting to be able to use this as a webcam. I finally can. And it's actually got some really cool features. But one thing I wanted to do is see how this compares to the Logitech Brio. So in this video, I'm just gonna kind of compare the two and let you know which one I like more and why and what I recommend based on my findings. So a couple of things of note. These are both wide angle cameras, 4K, uh, both pretty good image quality in general. If you don't like wide angle for a webcam, which I don't, then on the Insta360, you just kind of wait. Because it has this really cool feature built in where it will recognize your face and it will basically zoom into where your face is. So if you move one way, it will focus to where you're moving. If you have two people in the shot, it will actually make sure it gets both people in the shot. Um, probably the same with multiple people. It's actually really quite slick how well that works. And it's a really cool feature built into the Insta360 definitely a good reason for using this as a webcam. Now on the Logitech Brio, if you don't like widescreen, then you can download the Logitech software and you can change it to be more zoomed in on your face. And it's pretty simple and straightforward. Ultimately though, which has better quality? I will show you the two side by side here so you can see it. I adjust the lighting so you can see it dark, so you can see it bright. Honestly, I was actually a bit surprised with the results. The Insta360, when you just film normally and record it, it has quite vivid colors and I'm usually pretty impressed with the image quality of the Insta360. When using it as a webcam though, I found the colors to be a little bit bland, maybe desaturated. The image quality is still there and it's still good. It just doesn't look as normal to me as when you record it. The Brio, as expected, does a very good job. I think the image quality on this is good and the colors I think are a little bit better. You can decide for yourself. Here they are again, side by side. Okay, so I think the Brio's a little bit better in quality, but this has the cool feature of it will zoom to where you are. Here's the real kicker. Right now on Amazon, you can get the Logitech Brio for $250, not cheap. You can get this 4K Insta360 for $270, also not cheap. But if you can do math, which in this instance I can, it's a $20 difference. So $20 more gets you a webcam that's almost as good as this, and an action cam, which is way better than this as an action cam, because this is not an action camera. If you need a webcam for business, like it needs to be professional, it just always needs to be on, 100% reliable, you always need it working, I would probably still go ahead and recommend just stick with the Brio. It's tried and true, it's what there is. If you want a good webcam, there's a few other good options, but th this is basically it. If you're getting a webcam for yourself, and you're okay with the fact that occasionally you'll have to turn this on to get it to work as a webcam, then yeah, absolutely, get this, this is pretty cool. I, I love this as an action camera and as a webcam, it's really good. I really, really like the feature of you moving and it will follow you. I've been using this the entire week for work on my Zoom calls, I've been showing it off to people. I, I just think it's cool, I really like it. I don't think you can actually turn that feature off. So that is something to consider if you think it's weird when it follows you or if you move around it a lot and you don't want it to follow you. 
th then maybe this is not for you. But ultimately, I've been really, I'm really excited. I really like that they finally added the ability to use this as a webcam. And I think it's cool that they added the feature of it following you. I don't know of any other webcams that do that. I know that there are some webcams that actually will physically rotate. And these are really expensive webcams. But there you go. Those are my thoughts. I think the Brio is great. I think the Insta360 is great. Uh, either way, kind of just depends on what you want. But there you have it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to write a comment. I'll post links below for these on the Amazon pages if you want to check out what the current price is. Hopefully after coronavirus kind of dies down, if it ever dies down, the prices for webcams will also die down and go back down to normal. For now, they're just still really high. So, get an action camera.